American prisons are toxic places. When you walk into them, you are immediately bombarded by the smell, by the noise, by the lack of color on the walls. There is a dearth of life in the eyes of the people who are incarcerated, the people that work in the prisons. There's little grass or trees, very little plant life. This is just what the absence of life and joy can be. So we went to Germany to understand how you can do things differently. They've taken the structures, the architecture around prisons, and they've modified them and changed the people inside them. They run their prisons based in human dignity and organized around the principle of normalization, that prisons should replicate the outside community as much as possible. They learn that this job is about relationships and that relational safety is just as important as the security of the building. There's life, you know, people aren't afraid for their safety. We saw young people laying on the courtyard completely comfortable with each other. You would never see that in an American prison. We saw young people hanging out with correctional officers without the fear of surveillance. Young people and correctional officers playing soccer. You walk into someone's room and you can learn so much about them. They've got posters on the wall of their heroes and sheroes and you've got TVs and you've got lighters on the table because they're smoking. <laughs> it's very, very different. One of the things that was so striking was walking through a prison compound and you see trees and water and swans. It's what human dignity smells like, looks like, and feels like. And this was in a maximum security prison in Germany. It tells us you can do this a different way. Our experiment with mass incarceration has created a uniquely American phenomenon that has prisons warehousing millions of people far away from their families and communities. It has not worked. It has not made us safer. But we can learn from other countries, like Germany, where they have systems designed around human dignity that promote restorative justice, that ensure accountability, and everyone is safer, happier, and healthier. And we can restore the promise of American justice.